Good morning, Stephanie Cameraman, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisper for November 5th, 2019. Well, guess what? Yesterday, we got a very big, heavy, dark pool level on the SPY. Yeah, about 18 million. I might be off by a half a million or so. Uh, 306.17 is the key level to watch moving forward all right as long as we stay above that we're bullish now if the dark pool is selling it takes them a while and they like to bring it up a little bit more we should get heavier levels uh, across the board on the spy the russell the cues and then they would take it down below this 306.17 but until that happens don't go shorting the market all right we're still above it that's bullish Let's just stick with the prints Forget the news, turn the television off, just follow the tape. All right, so today we're going to be bullish above 308.50. Um, I, I like it above 308. It's just that this morning when I was doing the whisper, we already hit this 308.20 uh, area, I believe. Uh, hold on. Yep, we hit that 308.20. So that's why I wanted it to break above uh, 308. Uh, 50 or even 308.20. Whenever you see big volume coming in, that's always a good time to enter on the way up. So those are really key levels uh, to watch. The E-minis, oh, we'll be bearish if we do go below 307.25. And that's just a retracement trade. All right, down to the prints. All right, and then we'll see if it does go below it. But uh, I always like to give two trades on both sides. Let's go to the E-minis. The E-minis, we had uh, pre-market volume between 3078 and 3084.25. So we'll be bullish above 3087.50 and bearish below 3072. Let's go to the Russell. The Russell bullish above 159.75. Not the easiest trade though. You know, 160 is a major level $5 increment. There should be uh, guys lined up to sell. I don't actually see anybody on the book yet, but that doesn't mean they're not going to show up. Uh, but that is not the easiest trade. We could hit 160.27, that's R2, and then uh, spike, spike up and hit that and pull back. So watch that carefully. Bearish below 159. The QQQs, we are above that big two hundred level today will be bullish above 201.25 and bearish below 199.75 the nasdaq futures bullish above 82.50 and uh, bearish below 82.25 the dow futures will be bullish above 27.475 coming up and bearish below 27.400 Oil has been ripping. Today we're going to be bullish above 57.20. Let me just make this uh, bigger for you guys. And just zoom out a little bit. Yeah. So we'll be bullish above 57.20. We did have a pretty big volume bar here early in the morning. Uh, so 57.20 and we'll be bearish below 56.50. Yeah, if we break below that, Below the pivot, yep, I would be bearish. Uh, but as long as we stay above, yep, we're above all of this high volume that came in about 3.30 in the morning. Gold futures, yeah, wow, wow, a lot of massive. Look at this high volume that came in. We have lots of spikes. Yeah, the most I've seen in a long time. I did send the whisper out earlier. Yep, we did break below my bearish below level, which was uh, 1502.50. And uh, we are headed down S3 all the way down here is where they would be oversold. That's usually where the big guys would come in about that 1490 area. And if I go to the weekly chart, see why. Yep. That's right about where this trend line is. Yeah, we have yet to close below that. 
you know, if we close for the week below this trend line, that's going to be bearish. We've gone below it. The buyers have come in, come in, come in. So really waiting for a close below, and that would be uh, bearish for gold. Um, however, let's watch the um, IAU. This is really key. 1437 was that really huge 12 million dark pool level. And this is the dark pool favorite. So, yep, if we close below that, that is going to be bearish today. I will show you a trade on GDX coming up in a minute. But let's just go to AMD. Let's go to our individual stocks here. Uh, AMD was a monster yesterday. Hope you guys caught this one. Bullish above today, 37. Bearish below, 36.25. Uber did not have uber earnings yeah no it was not good uber bad actually uh, we're going to be bullish above 29.50 for a possible retracement trade and bearish below 29 which we just went below right now ung we're going to be bullish above 23 and bearish below 22.50 for a retracement down to the pivot Fiat, F-C-A-U. We had a big print on this yesterday, 1615. Are they finally selling at the top? Remember that massive print we had at the bottom here? Well, that guy is probably scaling out, taking some profit. Yesterday, we had a 745,000 share print at 1615. So use that as a guideline. You know, if we were to close above that, then that would be bullish, right? So bullish above 1620, bearish below 1594. We're going to go to Beyond. Yeah, Beyond has been uh, consolidating. It stopped making lower lows. So today we're going to be bullish above 82.50. Uh, already started to move here. And we will be bearish if it does break down below 80.80. Yeah, the only thing that's going to give it a hard time is this pivot right here. If we could break above the 4 EMA, we'll most likely retrace to the 8. All right, we have a gap in the chart. Looks like we did a gap fake out, pull back, so we could do an actual gap fill. So watch that um, uh, 90 level. Yeah, really carefully. Yeah, if we can close above that in the future, then I could see a gap fill coming. Let's go to PTON, Annalise. This was her pick this morning. Um, has a lot of volume. Definitely a very fast mover. It does not have a lot of liquidity at each level except this buyer right here at 2610. Yeah, 37,000. Oh, is he still there? It's definitely not a beginner stock. He's still there. But you can see at some levels, hardly any liquidity. So please be careful. If you're a beginner trader, do not trade this one. Uh, we'll be bullish above 2650. And bearish below 25.50 for a retracement down to the pivot. All right, let's go to a nice easy one. GE, I know a lot of my traders in the pit had this one yesterday. Awesome, I think Pinky, right? Pinky, you and GE. Awesome trade on that, by the way. Uh, we'll be bullish today above 11 and bearish below 10.75 for a retracement. Oh, uh, you just called it out? Well, good call out, Pinky. Yeah, I saw yesterday a couple people were talking about it. Um, UAA, Under Armour, second day after earnings and great volume this morning. So we could pick up on that momentum. So we'll be bullish above 17.62 and bearish below 17. A lot of times institutions do sell the second day. I do see a buyer on the book at 16.80 right here. So if it does break it, that's a good place to take some profit, scaling out. Um, if you feel it's going to go down a lot more. So definitely take a little bit of profit at that 80 level. Let's go to GDX. You have a feeling this is going to be a good one today. Uh, we'll be bullish only above 27.50 for a uh, retracement trade to the pivot, but we are bearish below 27. There's room to go down to this 120 simple moving average. Very powerful. Um, but I do see a, a massive buyer here. Look, they may wick it down to 26.30. See this guy? Yep, that would be a good low end 
target. There is a seller at 27.93. FCX. Oh, this has been a great trade. We had big prints yesterday. Not a lot of pre-market volume, but huge, massive prints yesterday. So watch this one. We'll be bullish above 1120. We do have upper head resistance, the 200 symbol moving average. If we could uh, clear above that 1120, there's room to go up if they were buying yesterday. But if they were selling, they might wick it up and then push it down again. So bearish below 1060. All right, so I'll give it a little bit of splash room, but this should be a really big, big swing trade moving forward. I'm excited because I love FCX when we have big prints, but you have to give it a little bit of splash room. A lot of times they'll splash it in the opposite direction of the true move. So if they're selling, they'll move it up a little bit higher and then crash it down. If they're buying, a lot of times they move it down a little bit and then they pull it up. So please don't enter these trades the first day the prints come out. Wait a day or two. I promise you're gonna have much higher success rate if you're a little bit patient and you wait a couple days. You might miss a trade here and there, but 90% of the time you will be happy that you waited. So until next time, Happy trading.